We've got something extraordinary lined up for you today and it's not your typical news story. Have you ever wondered about those old buildings that seem to stand forever, watching over us as we go about our lives? Well, today you're diving into the history of one such iconic landmark, a story that has everyone in the southeast talking. Imagine an edifice that has stood the test of time, a structure as old as many of us, embodying the hopes and dreams of a state. In the southeastern news today, we're focusing on the Abia Tower, also known as the Tower of Peace. A structure that has been a symbol of hope and joy for over three decades. But here's the kicker. It was just demolished by the Abia state government. Why would they do that? And what does this mean for the people of Abia and the many tourists who have visited this historic site? Stay with us to uncover the full story behind the Abia Tower, its significance, and what the future holds for this landmark. You're watching Airborne People TV, and you wouldn't want to miss this fascinating exploration. Did you know that the Abia Tower was built during the tenure of Dr. O Ogbunaya Ono as the governor of Abia State in 1992. Dr. Ogbunaya Ono, who was born on December 1st, 1951 and died April 11th, 2024, was a Nigerian politician, author, and engineer. He was not only the first civilian governor of Abia State, but also served as the Minister of Science, Technology, and Innovation of Nigeria from November 2015 until his resignation in 2022. Dr. Ono hailed from Amata Oburu, or Zara local government area, which transitioned from the eastern region to Imo State, then Abia State, and finally Eboin State. His tenure marked the inception of the Abia Tower, an edifice that would become a lasting symbol of unity and progress. Located along the Potakot Enugu Highway, the Abia Tower is more than just a structure. It is a symbol of peace and unity in Abia State. Centrally situated in the state's capital, Umuahia, it greets visitors coming from various directions, Oweri to Nbise, Potakot to Aba, Enugu to Okigo, and Ohafia to Bende. Around the base of the tower are inscriptions of the names of the 17 local governments that make up Abia State, reflecting the spirit of peaceful coexistence among the diverse communities. The Abia Tower is not just a functional landmark, but also a masterpiece of architectural elegance. Designed in a Gothic cathedral style with a concave metallic arc, the tower stands approximately 100 meters tall. It features four inscriptions that boldly proclaim, Welcome to Abia, God's own state. In white letters on black metallic plates, painted in pink and light yellow, the tower glows with translucent lights, creating a welcoming ambience for visitors and residents alike. Beyond its towering height and aesthetic appeal, the Abia Tower carries a significant message. It serves as the first brand ambassador of Abia State, embodying the warmth and friendliness of the people. Since its construction in 1992, the tower has consistently welcomed visitors with its majestic presence, quickly introducing them to the state's hospitality and the leadership style. The construction of the Abia Tower was a monumental effort to create an enduring and beautiful statute. It stands as a testament to the leadership and vision of Governor Theodore Oji and his predecessors. Unlike many other political monuments, the Abia Tower was not intended to serve as a political statement, but rather as a lasting symbol of the state's heritage and aspirations. The Abia Tower has witnessed the state's journey through stagnation and revival. It is an epical monument capturing a dispensation in the people's movement. While it may be a mere object of cement and gravel, it projects a message of resilience and renewal, celebrating the leadership, stewardship, and the state revival. Earlier this year, the Abia state government announced plans to demolish structures around the Holy Ghost area before 2007. The Abia Tower symbolized stagnation, reflecting the style and manner of leadership of Governor Oji's predecessor. The tower was wither beaten, dirty, and literally abandoned. Happy and well-fed spiders built a mast of cobwebs around its concave parapets. The paintings wore out and the smooth surfaces peeled. The surroundings remained unkept and overgrown with weeds, with the inner pavements transforming into a defecation point for hoodlums and motor park boys. Some letters of the board inscription cleaned off and the walls cracked with neglect. It was a shoddy sight, providing a parallax view of the eight years of Abia stagnation. Before now, when tourists, journalists and movie makers visit the Abia Tower, it used to be an eyesore. It was a demeaning testimony of neglect and stagnation, and it spoke volumes about the style of the government of the day. Today, there is a new Abia Tower. Quite cleverly, Governor Oji saw an opportunity in the tower to tell the message of his vision and giant political strides. Upon ascension to office in 2007, he quickly renovated the tower and has consistently maintained it as a treasure for the state. Since then, the towering structure has continued to wear 
a new and sparkling look. It has recovered its charm and mystique. With the new paintings, the bold inscription has come alive. On the ground and around the surroundings, there is beautiful greenery dotted with flowers. And in place of the old garbage is a beautiful arcade, which has added to the beauty of the landscape of this inroad into Umwaya. Indeed, the Abia Tower of today speaks eloquently of the new Abia. The new beautiful outlook in abstract forms represents the rebirth and the attendant changes that have come with the liberation. It is a testimony of Governor Oji's transformation efforts transmuted into a concrete structure. But recently, something happened. The new Abia State government paid compensation to owners of structures around this tower to be demolished along the Abia Tower Express roundabout. The state government had announced that it would soon embark on the expansion of the dual lane Osa Road in Umwahia from the Enugu Potakot Express Tower Junction to Michael Okwara Square, right inside Umwahia City, which before now was a narrow two-way lane. The Abia State Governor says it will construct a flyover at the Abia Tower of Peace on the Enugu Potakot Expressway to ease vehicular movement and as part of plans to redesign the state capital. The Governor Alex Oti explained that the Tower of Peace would be relocated to Onwo Imo at the boundary with Imo State. This relocation is to create way for a flyover as the expansion of Osa Road to Opera Square to six lanes, which would lead to Umwahia with street light and pedestrian crossing. Nde Abia, have you been to this location, which is the Tower of Peace? What are your thoughts on the demolition of the Abia Tower, also known as the Tower of Peace? Do you love it at its present location, or do you support the idea of it being shifted to Onwo Imo? Let us hear your thoughts in the comment section below. The demolition of the Abia Tower marks the end of an era, but also the beginning of a new chapter in Abia State history. While the tower's iconic presence will be missed, the new six lanes would be cherished. As we bid farewell to this beloved landmark, we look forward to the positive changes that lie ahead. Thank you for joining us on Ebony People TV as we explored the legacy of the Abia Tower. Stay tuned for more stories that celebrate our heritage and look towards a brighter future. See you in our next video.